What if humanity discovered not just one Earth-like world, but an entire family of them orbiting the same star? Imagine a system where not one, not two, but seven planets could potentially hold some of the ingredients for life. Among them, one shines brightest in our search for another home, TRAPPIST-1E. Many astronomers call it the closest thing to Earth 2.0 we've ever found. The TRAPPIST-1 system orbits a star unlike our sun. Instead of a blazing yellow giant, it's an ultra-cool red dwarf, barely larger than Jupiter. That makes it tiny compared to most stars, but surprisingly stable and long-lived. Red dwarfs burn their fuel at an incredibly slow rate compared to stars like our sun. Because they sip their hydrogen instead of burning through it quickly, they can shine for trillions of years, far longer than the 10 billion year lifespan of a star like ours. In fact, no red dwarf has ever reached the end of its life in the entire history of the universe, which makes them cosmic survivors. TRAPPIST-1 lies just 39 light years away in the constellation Aquarius, a short distance in cosmic terms. In 2017, NASA's Spitzer Space Telescope, along with ground-based observatories, revealed that this star hosts a tightly packed chain of seven Earth-sized worlds. Picture this. All seven planets orbit so close to their star that if you stood on one, you could look up and see other planets hanging in the sky, appearing larger than our moon does. It would feel like living in a solar system designed by a science fiction writer, where neighboring worlds aren't just distant points of light, but massive globes looming over the horizon. Out of these seven, TRAPPIST-1E has become the star of the show. Its size is nearly identical to Earth's, measuring about 0.92 times our planet's radius. That means it would feel very familiar underfoot, with similar gravity, but its year lasts only six Earth days. You could celebrate a birthday every week. This is because TRAPPIST-1E orbits extremely close to its star, yet thanks to the star's cool temperature, it still sits in the so-called habitable zone, the region where liquid water could exist on the surface. The distance of this zone isn't the same for every star. For a hot, bright star, the habitable zone lies much farther out because the star blasts more heat and light. For cooler, dimmer stars like TRAPPIST-1, the habitable zone is tucked in very close. That's why TRAPPIST-1E can orbit its star in just six days and still have the right conditions for liquid water, something that would be impossible around a star like our sun, where such a short orbit would roast a planet. Measurements of its density suggest it is rocky, not a gas world. In many ways, it looks like one of the best places we've ever found for life beyond Earth. So, could TRAPPIST-1E really host life? If the planet has oceans of liquid water, then the first condition is met. Astronomers are working hard to find out whether it has an atmosphere and what kind it might be. Some scenarios suggest a breathable mix like Earth's, mostly nitrogen and oxygen. Others propose a heavy, suffocating atmosphere, like Venus, dominated by carbon dioxide. Or perhaps the planet has no atmosphere at all, leaving it exposed to the harshness of space. Instruments like the James Webb Space Telescope are currently searching for the faint fingerprints of gases around TRAPPIST-1E, a step that could reveal whether it's truly habitable. Life under a red dwarf star would not look like life under our sun. Plants, if they exist, might not be green at all. Since the star emits mostly red and infrared light, photosynthetic organisms might evolve to capture that energy differently. Imagine forests of black, purple, or even dark crimson plants thriving in a world bathed in an endless red twilight. Now imagine standing on TRAPPIST-1E. The sky would glow in shades of deep red, more like a never-ending sunset than the bright blue skies of Earth. Hanging above you, neighboring planets wouldn't just look like stars. They'd appear as giant crescents and glowing orbs, so close you could make out their colors and even cloud patterns with the naked eye. But that beauty hides danger. 
Red dwarfs are unpredictable, releasing violent flares that can strip away atmospheres and boil oceans dry. Without a strong magnetic field, TRAPPIST-1e could slowly lose its air and water. And if the planet is tidally locked, always showing one face to its star, one side would be scorched in endless daylight, the other frozen in eternal night. Life, if it exists, might cling to a narrow twilight band, a ring of constant sunset where conditions are just right. Compared to Earth, the contrast is striking. Our magnetic field and atmosphere protect and stabilize us. On TRAPPIST-1e, any life would have to adapt in strange ways, perhaps growing in narrow oceans, evolving under dim red light, and looking nothing like the creatures we know. Now imagine if life has already taken hold. Microbes beneath the seas, alien plants spread across the twilight, maybe even civilizations gazing at their neighboring worlds as we gaze at the stars. The TRAPPIST system could become humanity's first true multi-planet colony, a dream straight out of science fiction. But there's a catch, distance. At 39 light years, it's close on the cosmic map, but impossibly far with today's rockets. Our fastest probes would take hundreds of thousands of years to arrive. Yet future technologies, fusion drives, giant light sails, or even wormholes might one day bring it within reach. And if that happens, imagine the view. Standing on TRAPPIST-1e, gazing up at six other Earth-sized planets glowing in the crimson sky. A sight no human has ever known. TRAPPIST-1 reminds us of what we're searching for. Another place like home. Proof that Earth is not unique. If life exists there, it would transform our understanding of biology, evolution, and our place in the universe. Even if it is barren, the possibility it represents fuels imagination and drives exploration. So, is TRAPPIST-1 e really Earth 2.0? In some ways, yes. It shares Earth's size, density, and sits in the habitable zone. But under its dim red sun, its environment would be far stranger, far harsher, and far more alien than we first imagined. And that is what makes it fascinating. The universe has handed us a system that resembles a laboratory for habitability, with seven planets waiting to be explored, and one, TRAPPIST-1e, standing out as a beacon of hope. Do you think TRAPPIST-1e could already be home to alien life? And if technology made it possible, would you pack your bags and journey to a new Earth under red skies? If you enjoyed this journey, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe so you never miss the next exploration of the universe.